Tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start with a new project, a new engineering project. And it's going to be a paint stirrer catapult that you will be building in groups. While we're doing this, the topics we're going to cover are simple machines, levers, work, mechanical advantage, balanced and unbalanced forces, kinetic and potential energy. Now, lest you think you can just sit there, you're probably going to have to rewind this video, and I want you to be writing all of this down in your notebook on page 75. And I will be giving you instructions to write some things on other pages too, but all of your notes go on page 75. Now, how are we going to do this project and cover all of those topics in a very short amount of time? We're going to do it by engineering and building a working catapult to propel an object to hit a target. That water just fell. Now, to do this, we're going to actually be studying about levers. Now, there's this guy. His name was Archimedes. He was born in 290 B.C. Archimedes was born 2,300 years ago. Well, that's a long time ago. And he did so much work with levers. Now, levers have three sim are a simple machine with three parts. There's the force, the resistance, and the fulcrum. And there are three kinds of levers, and it all depends on where those three elements are. Now, the first class lever, the resistance is on one side, the fulcrum is on the other side, the effort is on the opposite side. And the example that I'm going to give you of that are scissors. So if you think about scissors, your fingers go through the hole, and they're the effort force. The fulcrum is where they come together, and the resistance is actually on the end of the paper that you're going to cut, or whatever it is you're cutting. A second class lever has the fulcrum pushed all the way to one end, the resistance in the middle, and the effort on the end. When you think about a second class lever, I want you to think about a wheelbarrow. The wheel part is the fulcrum. The load is wherever you're going to put, at my house I like to use mulch and put that in there. And then the effort are the handlebars where you're going to pick it up. A third class lever has the fulcrum still at one end, the effort's in the middle, and the resistance is on the end. When I think about that, I think about my fabulous looking fishing pole. You've got your fulcrum down here, your effort's in the middle, your load is that great big fish that you're going to take, catch. Now, a catapult is an example of a first class lever. On page 76 in your notebook, I want you to title it Brainstorming and Planning. On that page, you're going to be doing picture drawing, you're going to be writing plans, you're going to be doing all kinds of things, making supply lists of what kinds of things you need and what is your plan for building your catapult. On page 77, I want you to title it Observations. Here, you're going to be writing down, well, this worked, what worked, what didn't work. And guys, I think we learn a whole lot more sometimes from the things that we fail on than the things that we succeed on. So please don't be afraid to write down what mistakes you made and what didn't work well. On page 78, I want you to draw or trace a catapult. Now you can look for that in a book, you can Google it online, but all of these things, the titles need to be in place, the notes need to be done, and your tracing or drawing of the catapult needs to be done before we can move forward as a group on our paint stir catapult project. Can't wait to see you tomorrow.